Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. And once again, happy Halloween. So this week, we have extra candy in our house. We might be going trick-or-treating with our kids. Most likely, if you're like me, you're gonna be eating some extra candy. And so this is our candy-powered cardio session. So I want you to go ahead and do a preemptive strike on that candy you're gonna eat by doing this workout here with me today, a couple days before Halloween. And then again, later on in the week, to just counterbalance the extra candy that you might be eating. Use all that extra sugar-powered energy to really dig in. So I love to do resistance-based cardio. So we are gonna be doing the first part of our workout with kettlebells, the second part of our workout with a med ball, and we're gonna be doing some endurance moves with these in a circuit format to really keep the heart rate up, hence, the cardio session. Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna start with our warm up. We're gonna do a side step, bend and reach. So give me a side step, bend and reach. Side step, bend and reach. There you go. Come all the way up, side step. Make that side step a nice big side step. Nice. As you bend to reach towards the floor, keep your legs long, knees a little bit soft, keep your back flat, really squeeze your abs to support your spine and your posture. We're gonna squat and twist here in just a couple more seconds. So arms right here like genie arms, squat, twist, squat, twist. There you go. Nice work, warming up that lower body, working up the obliques as we twist there. Ah, I hope you're excited for Halloween. I always am, it's always fun to go trick or treating with my girls and to pass out candy, to dress up. Comment below what you're gonna be for Halloween. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna do the caterpillar. So did you know like that those fun-sized candy bars like Milky Way Twist, they average like 60 calories per little tiny candy bar. I love the Kit Kats and the Twixes. What's your favorite Halloween candy? So you think, oh, a little candy bar, 60 calories isn't gonna do much. But think about, as you're passing out the candy, how many times do you dip in and take one or two? Because you never just have one, right? So those calories add up. Which, one night a week, give me reverse lunge and backstroke. You know, it's not that big of a deal. As long as you're not doing it every day, all day, right? So that's why we're doing this candy powered cardio session that I hope you do a couple times this week just to counterbalance it when you know you've indulged a little bit. As long as you get right back into your routine, your body will kind of uptake those calories and revert back to normal and usually you won't have much weight gain, right? After a couple days, you kind of go back to normal. What are we doing? A rocket squat. So go three, two, one, and up. But if you have physique goals or you really wanna be extra mindful this holiday season to not gain any weight, maybe you want to use this candy powered cardio session a couple times this week just for extra measure. There you go. Three, two, one, and up. So I'm wearing gloves because I have very calloused hands and the kettlebells always rub against the calluses and hurt. So I actually jog in place, get a better, more comfortable workout when I wear gloves with my kettlebells. We're just jogging in place and after this, we're gonna grab our lighter kettlebell. If you only have one kettlebell, that's fine. I want a heavier one for some things and I want a lighter kettlebell for some, for a couple of the intervals. We're gonna do three rounds here of these kettlebell exercises. Ah, 
Almost there. Keep jogging. All right, so now's a perfect time to take a sip of water if you want to. So go ahead and grab your kettlebell. We'll start in the right hand. We are going to clean it and press it. So when you clean it, you bring it up and it's rotating around your wrist, okay? So clean it, press it, bring it down. Clean and press. There you go. Feel your entire core really strong supporting it. Nice. Ah, and then of course you're getting that shoulder. Beautiful. Keep going. We have about 20 more seconds on this side. Clean, press. So you pull it up, it rotates around, it kind of lands right there on the top of your arm and you press it overhead. <sighs> oh my goodness. 40 seconds of this adds up, it starts to burn. Quick 15 seconds, then you know we're gonna do it on the other side. Keep moving, sip your water. If you want a more detailed kind of tutorial about how to clean it properly, I have a link below from Athlean X, Jeff Cavalier over at Athlean X. I love his stuff, he's so knowledgeable, and he has a really good video about proper technique for cleaning a kettlebell. You can pause, you can go check it out. It's only like a three minute video, I think and then get right back into it. Otherwise, you can just keep going. <laughs> there you go. Clean it, press it. Whew. Clean it, press it. Abs are strong, knees are soft, right? We haven't locked out our knees. A little slight bend in the knees as we stand here. Whew. Almost there, yes. Clean, press. Nice, okay, so we're gonna do your good old fashioned kettlebell swing. Remember the kettlebell swing is about the glutes and it's a hip hinge. See like this, it's not a squat movement, a hip hinge movement. So, you have strong glutes, you're squeezing your glutes to push your hips forward and that's what moves the kettlebell, not your arms. Right? You're not lifting at all with your arms. Whew. Abs are strong. Hinge, push. Hinge, push. Hinge, squeeze. Nice. Keep going. Whew. Whew. This gets the heart rate up. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do a bent over row on the right side. I'm gonna start with my 35 pounds. If it gets to be too fatiguing, I'll switch it to the 15 pounder. Bend over, shoulders back, abs in. Bend over, and then just squeeze from your shoulder blades, those muscles right around your shoulder blades. And get those lats engaged. You start to move the kettlebell with your back muscles and then you bend your arm just a little bit there at the top. You got it. Don't let your upper back start to round. Stay really strong. Nice straight, long, neutral spine. Hoo-wee! Ha! Ah. We're gonna go the other side. If you just have a lighter dumbbell or a lighter kettlebell, that's fine. Maybe you're going a little bit faster, getting more reps in. That's fine. We're working with what you have. Remember, shoulders back, abs in, hinge right there. You really wanna focus the movement in your back, your lats. It's not so much about your elbow bending and getting your biceps too into it. Focus on squeezing your back muscles right there to move that kettlebell. Abs are in, back is flat, keep breathing. Every time you pull it up, exhale. There you go, you're doing great. Keep it going. 
Come on, come on. Nice. Okay, what do we got next? It's a good old goblet squat. So I'm gonna go with my heavier weight again. Go ahead and pull it up and hold it by the bell part there. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are turned out slightly. As you go down, you try to get your elbows to the inside of your knees there. If you can't go that deep, that's okay. Just do the best you can. And this move is just as much about working on mobility. If it feels good to kind of hang out there at the bottom and stand up, you can do that. Work that flexibility and mobility around the hip joint, the ankle joint. The key is to stay up tall. Don't let yourself fold or fall forward. Keep your chest up. Keep sitting up nice and straight there at the bottom. Nice. Okay. We are back to the beginning with our clean and our press. Sip your water really quick if you need to, and then grab that lighter kettlebell. Clean, press, and down. There you go. <sighs> Keep going. No break between rounds, because this is meant to be cardio, right? No rest, gets that heart rate up there. And we're getting some resistance training because we're working with these kettlebells. There you go. Hoo wee! There you go. Candy powered cardio. Use all those extra calories from all that Halloween candy to stay focused, to work on form and get the most out of this workout. Nice. Little 15 second rest. Same thing, other side. Breathe. Get ready. Grab it. Shoulders back, abs in. Clean it, press it, and back down. Nice. It's rotating around. You're not flipping it over to bang on the back of your arm. You're rotating and it's going around your wrist and resting on the back of your arm because it's rotating back that way. Nice. And think about spearing it. So your hands, fingers go straight up through it like you're spearing it, right? Yes. Hoo wee Just about 10 more seconds on this side. Every time you get a weight up over your head, your arms up over your head, it automatically starts to elevate that heart rate. Okay. Getting ready for that kettlebell swing. Remember, we're hinging from the hips. Abs are strong, big, strong glutes squeeze to lock out your hips. All right, here we go. Give me that beautiful swing. Keep it up. You got this. Give me 20 more seconds. Strong abs, strong glutes. Thrust those hips to move that kettlebell. Torso staying long and strong throughout. You really need your abs engaged to protect your spine here and your posture. Oh, okay. Bent over a row. <sighs> Catch your breath. Keep your feet moving just a little bit. Don't totally relax. Keep it moving a little bit. Here we go. Engage those lats. Yes, this 35 pounds is a challenging weight for me, but that's what we want. We want to challenge ourselves. We want each set to be really hard, especially towards the end of the set.
Come on. Come on. That raises the heart rate. It's not a huge compound move with lower body going, all that stuff, but it gets the heart rate up in that set because it's lots of reps. And if you have a challenging weight, it's definitely gonna raise that heart rate and develop beautiful back muscles. There you go. There you go. Think about those muscles back there, the lats, they're working. Connect to them. Squeeze them. You're also squeezing and pulling your belly button in. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, 10 more seconds. Hang in there. We can do this. Goblet squats are next. Shake it out. Are you ready? Grab that kettlebell. Down and up. Feet are turned out slightly. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width to make room for those elbows to tap the inside of your knees there. Sit up tall down here. If you catch yourself wanting to lean forward, just don't go as deep. That's okay. Just keep working on this, even with just your body weight, to work on that mobility so you don't want to fall forward anymore. Keep those abs really strong. Oh, you got this. Keep going. Nice. All right, last round of this kettlebell set. Shake it out. Deep breath. Grab that kettlebell. Clean press. There you go. Standing up tall. Legs are strong, but knees are a little bit soft. If you lock out your knees, it might restrict blood flow, might make you feel faint, and we don't want that. Oh, I may be slowing down. My shoulders may be fatiguing, but I'm not giving up. You don't either. Come on. Oh. Keep it up, keep it up, guys. Ah. Oh. Nice. Ah. Last time on the left side. Okay, grab that weight. Shoulders back, abs in. Here we go, clean press. Spirit, as it rotates around your wrist, push it up strong. There you go, everyone. Last time we're doing this, we are in the last round of our kettlebell exercises. So give it to me. Come here, let's see. Is that your little owl that's a witch? That's awesome, you did such a good job. Um, I don't want Gizmo to come out. Gizmo, inside. Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah. Nice. Inside. Inside. Do you want to leave the screen door open? You can leave that door open. I'll leave the screen open. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Getting ready for the kettlebell swing. Okay. I'll face you this time. <laughs> there you go. Think about the glutes. The glutes are working hard here. Hinge, squeeze, right? Hinge, squeeze, hinge, squeeze. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This one really gets the heart rate up too. Come on, under 10 seconds to go. Oh. 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 
try to control your breathing before we go into those bent over rows. Here we go. Focus on those lats. Yes, you got it. Abs are strong. <laughs> Pull that belly button in to support your lower back as you're hinged forward here some. Just 10 more seconds. Come on. Oh, oh, it's my grip too. My grip is giving out. Ah. Okay, working on the forearm strength there. <sighs> Breathe, shake that side out, get ready. Last time we're doing a row in this workout. Let's go. Shoulders back, abs in, hinge forward. Connect to your lat muscles. Start to pull that shoulder blade around your spine and squeeze those back muscles to move that kettlebell. There's a slight bend in the elbow at the top there, but that happens after you've already started to move the kettlebell with those back muscles. Abs are in. Just keep going. We got this. Yeah? Three, two, one. Oh. Goblet squat. Last time we're doing the goblet squats here. We're going to get a longer little rest and recovery in between this kettlebell set and our med ball set. A full minute of rest is coming. So work really hard with these goblet squats, okay? Earn that rest. Good job, good job. You got this. Oh, less than 20 seconds to go. Don't let yourself fold forward. Keep your shoulders back, chest up especially at the bottom there. Nice. Okay, you can get these kettlebells out of the way. You have a full minute of rest and recovery. Move around in your spot, sip your water, have your medicine ball handy. I have a 10 pound medicine ball here. We're gonna start with the rainbow squat. You're gonna have the ball on one shoulder, squat as you come up, it comes over and you make an arch in the air like a rainbow and it goes over to the other shoulder. But we still got a good 25 seconds of rest and recovery. Ah, take advantage of it. I can't remember if we're doing three or four rounds of this here. Sorry, I can't remember exactly. We're just gonna keep going all the way to the end. That's all we need to know. Get ready. Start with it on your right shoulder. Squat, arc it over to the other side and squat. Work in those shoulders again here. Nice. Beautiful, just 30 seconds here. Keep it going, keep it going. That 30 seconds goes fast, right? All right, reverse lunge and curl. So, step back, reverse lunge and curl. So keep your elbows in close and you have a nice neutral grip on the ball and you're curling those arms, squeezing those biceps as you lunge back. Beautiful. Feet stay shoulder width apart. <sighs> Hips are dropping with that lunge. <sighs> oh. 
Just 30 seconds. Nice. What's next? Headlock squat right. So you're gonna give the ball a headlock. Like you have somebody headlocked, this arm comes out and you're gonna squat. So you are unilaterally loaded, loaded on one side, which automatically makes your core work even more to counterbalance. Nice work. Halfway through, not halfway through. We'll get 10 seconds and then we're gonna go to the other side. It's, it's Shelby, home from school. Okay, headlock squat on the left side. Kinda like you got your little brother or sister in a headlock there. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. Sit those hips down and back. Give me beautiful squats. Keep your chest up as you squat. Yes, Maddie. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Push up on the ball. Now, my ball has sand in it and it kind of flattens out. If you have a ball that moves around more, maybe you're gonna put one hand on the ball, one hand on the floor and switch hands. If that helps you feel more stable, you can always go from your knees, okay guys? I think I'm going to right now. Keep your abs pulled in. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do a Russian twist and a double crunch. If you follow me on Instagram, I did the same exact move, but with a kettlebell. So, your toes are hitting the floor. Twist, twist, crunch. Twist. Baby, that's your sister, go open the door. <laughs> twist. Crunch, sorry. Twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch. Ah, side lunge and press. So it's gonna be a chest press. So you're gonna step to the side and lunge and push the ball out at chest level. So side lunge, press, other side. Side lunge, press. Kind of like you're passing a basketball, doing a chest pass. There. There you go. Side lunge, press. Push it out. It's a push pass, right? Hi. Okay. Catch your breath. Right back into that rainbow squat. Here we go. Squat, draw that rainbow in the air, bring it to the other shoulder. Nice work. Heart rate is staying elevated because we're going one exercise right into the other, one round right into the other. No extra break between rounds. We are really using that candy power to make it through this cardio, well, resistance-based cardio session. There you go. Burning tons of calories and fat. Oh. Reverse lunge and curl. So feet stay shoulder width apart. Elbows in, shoulders back. Here we go. Step back into that lunge and give me a nice biceps curl. Keep your chest up, shoulders back, abs in. Give me really good posture throughout, right? Nice, okay, headlock squat. So you're gonna hold it on the right side there first. Just like you got somebody in a headlock, this arm comes out, squat. Whew. 
Beautiful. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Oh, less than 10 seconds to go. You caught me staring at the time. <laughs> I'm starting to feel this workout, but that's a good thing. <laughs> Just 10 seconds, then we're on to the other side. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. That's it, let's go. Nice work. Hang in there. Ah, abs in, chest up. Sit those hips down and back. Nice. All right, push up here. I'm gonna do these from my feet. Not gonna go to my knees this time. I'm telling you right now to keep myself accountable because <laughs> these are challenging. There you go. felt like a long 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, Russian twist with a double crunch. You're gonna round your back, sit back, toes are pointed, toes hit, twist, twist, crunch the knees up, bring the ball towards your feet. <sighs> twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, Crunch, come on, give me 10 more seconds. Twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch. Nice. Okay, side lunge with that push press. Work in the chest, work in the legs, work in the outer glutes here. Side lunge, push press there. Sit. Deep in that side lunge. Sit those hips back. Push strongly off that foot, off that heel. Nice. Come on. Nice. Okay. Whew, starting the third round. Gonna do rain bow squats. Here we go, start on the right shoulder. Squat, draw that rainbow in the air, bring it to the other shoulder. <sighs> nice. <sighs> Just 30 seconds, hang in there. Just keep breathing, give me perfect form. It's towards the end of our workout, right? We feel a little bit tired and fatigued. That's when it's most important to check your form. Slow it down if you need to. Just give me beautiful reps each time. Beautiful controlled reps. What is it, I forget. Reverse lunge and curl. Feet are shoulder width apart. Elbows in, shoulders back. Abs in, reverse curl. A reverse lunge <laughs> with that med ball curl. Squeezing the biceps as you curl that ball. Nice work. Don't bang your knee at the bottom. Okay, headlock squat. Give that ball a headlock. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Anywhere from shoulder width to wider. It's all up to your comfort level when you squat. I generally like to have my feet a little bit wider than hip width apart and my toes are usually turned out slightly. That's just what works best with my hip joint and my body. But maybe you're somebody who you're more comfortable squatting with your toes totally forward, feet a little bit closer together. Just find a foot position that works well for you. There you go, almost done. 
Almost there, almost there. Come on. Three, two, one. Quick 10 seconds. Then we're on to the other side. Keep those feet moving. Keep those abs engaged. engaged. Keep really good posture. Arm out, here we go. Give me that headlock squat. We are so close to the end of the workout. Keep going. Come on, come on. Hoo wee! You got this. You got this. Keep that heart rate up. All right. Push ups. And I'm going to hold myself accountable again. I am going to stay on my feet even if I have to take little breaks in plank. I'm going to challenge myself that way. You do what's best for you, even if it's from your knees. That's all right, as long as it feels super challenging. It's only 30 seconds. So hang in there. This is the last time we're doing these. Okay? So don't give up. Just a couple more seconds here. Give me one more rep. Oh my goodness. Hooey. Russian twist and double crunch. So your back is rounded, you're leaning back, some toes are pointed. Twist, twist, crunch the knees up as you bring the ball towards your shoelaces. There you go, twist, twist. And then the toes are just tapping the ground, they're helping you to stay balanced. Crunch, twist, twist, crunch, twist. Twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch. Ah, oh, side lunge and press, everybody. Come on. All right, let's start going to the right this time. Sit in that side lunge, push press. Side lunge, push press. Sit deep, sit as deep as you can in that side lunge. There you go. We are almost there, less than 10 seconds left in the bulk of our workout, then we're gonna cool down. Give me some beautiful final reps. Nice work. I am so proud of you. You did it. Ah, move around in your space, just kind of walk around and catch your breath a little bit. Ah. Beautiful. Let's stretch the top of those shoulders and the front of those shoulders that work so hard. You're gonna give me a chicken wing stretch. So take that right arm, grab the wrist, pull on it so you have your chicken wing over here. And then you can drop your head over towards the left. So you're stretching the front of the right shoulder, the top of the right shoulder, and the right side of your neck there. Doesn't that feel good? Okay, bring your head up. Switch, grab your left wrist, pull on it. You got the chicken wing on the right side and then drop your neck over your ear towards your right shoulder as you tug on that left arm. That should feel good. Ah, Beautiful, bring your head up, release that. Now let's get the rear shoulders. The rear shoulders did work some throughout the entire workout, but with those um, dumbbell rows, supporting the whole shoulder joint work to support you when you were doing those push-ups. The whole shoulder joint was working, but primarily the front and the medial delts were working with all those presses we did. Same thing, other side. There you go. Just breathe. Just enjoy the feeling of satisfaction and pride that comes with completing a workout. Let's get those forearms and in into those biceps. Take your fingers, point them down gently, just the slightest bit of pressure to point those fingers all the way down. Stretching through your forearm, up through the inside of your elbow and into your bicep there. Your biceps, I should say. There's a couple muscles in there. <laughs> And same thing, other side, just gentle pressure there. Nice. Oh. 
All right, so we are gonna do a forward fold. Keep your feet hip width apart, shoulders back, abs in, slide your arms down, keep your legs long, keep your back flat, flat as you can, going down. Some of you might be more flexible than me. Maybe you can get your hands flat on the floor. I'm gonna have my hands right there in the bottom of my shins. My back is flat, I'm pulling my shoulders away from my ears, my legs are long and straight. Feeling the stretch through my lower back, down through my glutes, all the way down my hamstrings. Beautiful, go ahead and round your back. Bring your hands to the floor, step that front leg back, drop the hips down, the knee goes to the floor, and really push yourself forward, stretching the hip flexor there of this leg and getting the hamstrings of the front leg. <sighs> Doesn't that feel good? It does for me. Ready, bring that leg up, switch legs, go really wide, drop the knee down, push the hips forward. Ah, oh, that feels good. So how did you like the candy powered cardio session? Give me a thumbs up if you really like the cardio based resistance. Don't forget to tell me what you're being for Halloween. Tell me what is your favorite Halloween candy and I want you to keep those numbers in mind. Those fun size candy bars range at about 60 calories per candy bar. Just check the labels and just be mindful. It's okay to have some extra candy now and then. Just be mindful and then do this candy powered cardio sessions one or two times this week, maybe even three to counterbalance those extra calories. Really use that extra energy to power through and have awesome workouts. Beautiful. Round your back. Bring your foot up. Nice and easy. One vertebrae at a time. Roll up. <sighs> Give me a nice big inhale. And exhale. And we are finished. Have a very safe Halloween. And until we meet again right here next week for our next workouts, the first workout of November. Can you believe it? I want you to always remember, no excuses. No regret, just sweat. Mwah. Bye everyone.